Hello guys, welcome to Synthurist, I'm your host. In today's video I will show you an undoubted king of Rolex stainless steel sports. You know the watch I am talking about is the legendary Daytona 116 500LN. As you probably also know by watching my videos, I can call myself a huge Daytona fanboy. I just like the reference to the history of racing cars that Daytona watches are defined by. Before these watches were popular, they meant speed. Actually same as well-known Tag Heuer Monaco and Steve McQueen. Nowadays, the very first thing that comes to your mind when you hear Daytona investment and waiting lists. This beautiful 40mm case, black bezel and black chronograph are simply superb. Unlike the stainless steel bezel, ceramic won't scratch that easily. The watch feels sturdy and bulletproof, despite the case being quite thin and sleek. I know why this watch is the current king of Rolex sports. It's so versatile, you can wear it with a truck suit or a normal suit when you attend to various meetings. When we talk the finish on the watch, we can instantly notice that it's primarily polished. It has this elegant and supreme profile to the rest of the sports watches from Rolex range. As with majority of Rolex, this watch feels extremely comfortable and it is not an exaggeration. Oyster bracelet is one of the most successful bracelets from all watchmaking brands. Add on top the fact that the case does not have any sharp edges and there you go. That's a perfect recipe for a perfect daily wear. The only thing that I wish I had in this timepiece is a date function. Only because I use it so often. However, you cannot have everything, can you? If I were to compile a quick list of my favorite chronographs by readability of the dial, it would be something like Omega Speedmaster, and I mean the classic Moonwatch, then we would have Tag Heuer Monaco, and then Rolex Daytona. Regardless if it's a 16520, 116.520 or the current 116.500LN, you probably thought I would put Daytona right at the top, didn't you? There is one advantage that this watch has over the Speedmaster and Monaco watches though. It feels much sturdier and it's watertight. The crown is screwed in and it gives you about 100 meters of water resistance so it's more than enough for swimming for a day on a swimming pool or a beach. In the description you'll find a review of the stainless steel bezel version of the Daytona when I took it on holiday with me. Also I made a video on investment performance of some popular Rolex watches and as you imagine the watch I am discussing today was featured there of course. However if you are just starting out your watch collecting journey and you are not entirely familiar with Rolex Daytona I can tell you that this model has an enormous waiting list in Rolex boutiques. In majority of places the waiting list is actually closed due to an extreme demand. Hence the watch commands a huge premium on pre-owned watch market. If I were to choose my favorite option from the 116500LN reference I would probably go for a white chronograph dial version as I simply love the contrast between the black bezel. Thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe to Synthurist and stay tuned for more. Bye!